All of this, this, this march towards communism is being fueled by our mainstream media. If you don't believe me, we've got about a two minute uh, compilation video from Grabian Media of uh, the lefties and the media cohorts uh, pushing communism. Enjoy. No one likes to mandate people to do things that they may not want to do. But sometimes for the greater good of society, you have to do that. You got to start telling people if you don't get vaccinated, you can't come into this office or this place of business. We really may need to make it clear that there are privileges associated with being an American, that if you wish to have these privileges, you need to get vaccinated. Travel and having the right to travel in our state, it's not a constitutional right as far as I'm as far as I know. Getting vaccinated is not a personal choice. It's not. It's something that we do for the community. I think that he should approach this with an iron fist. If you don't get vaccinated, you can't come to work. People aren't then going to threaten to go to another workplace. If every workplace has that same requirement, that's a good thing. So I don't think it's overreach. I think this is what's needed in the middle of a pandemic. And in fact, I think the Biden administration, if anything, could have gone even further. And those governors that stand in the way, I think it was very clear from the president's tone today, that uh, he will run over them. If you don't get vaccinated, you can't come into this gym. Screw your freedom, because with freedom comes obligations and, uh, and, and responsibilities. Your personal choice ends where my right not to get killed by an infectious disease begins. So we have these collective actions for the good of the community, not the individual. Yeah. We don't live in a bubble. We live in a community. And that is why there have been a number of instances throughout history where we have made a decision as a society to abide by common rules that protect the common good. We really have to uh, you know, think in terms of what is best for society at this point. If you don't get vaccinated, you can't come into this, get onto this airplane. You can stay unvaccinated if you want, but you're not going to be able to travel to see your family. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. There you have it, the tolerant and diverse and open and freedom-loving and honest and decent lefty media and politicians. As you were watching that, how did you feel? I mean, really feel like as you were watching, I've now watched it probably 10 times today, um, but even on this showing just now, it's like, man, you, you feel kind of tense, right? It's like there are really really bad people out there right now, pushing really, really bad ideas. And the irony, of course, the ultimate irony is if Donald Trump was president and Donald Trump was pushing a federal vaccine mandate across the entire country, every single one of those lying sellout buffoons would be saying the exact same reverse thing, not the same thing, they would be saying the complete reverse Thing. They would be saying, this is overreach. He's a maniac. This is fascism. This is biomedical tyranny. They would all be saying that, but they like Biden and they like the power and they like the machine and scratch a progressive and find a really hysterical authoritarian, okay? That it is just so obvious. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, what do he say? Screw your freedom? Is that what he said? Screw your freedom? Arnold Schwarzenegger? The Terminator, Commando, Dennis Quaid from Total Recall. Like what? God, these people, what do, what do we do? What do we do as, as free, decent people? Like, like just think of the difference of, of, of the type of people that now exist in the world. I would say, you know, we can talk about left, right. We can talk about top, bottom. We can talk about, uh, you know, conservative, liberal. We can talk about all of those things. But it's basically like you've got some people who want to understand the world and some people who want to control the world. That's what this is all boiled down to now. And it's becoming very, very obvious to any of us that are paying attention. I don't have all the answers, but I don't think they have all the answers either. So what I want to do is create a ground that the most freedom can exist so that we can all make the choices for ourselves that we feel is right. And within that, there's gonna be some messiness. But you know what comes with that messiness? The opportunity for human flourishing. That's a freaking beautiful thing. That's what this country was based upon. Those people, the people that demand you bow to them, the people that, you demand, that demand that you not talk about certain things, the people who would gladly have you fired and silenced and pushed to the margins of society, it's like, they're not the good guys. And until enough of us are willing to say that 
and enough of us are willing to say, boy, it's getting hot in this pot right now. It's getting pretty hot. You know, we better do something before we all boil. It's like, they're gonna keep moving. They're just gonna keep moving. So we have our work cut out for us, as I often say.